So back again this week, uh, editing the last video. It's about to go live, probably tonight when this is obviously being recorded. But we're going to jump straight into it as there's a lot to do. And I keep forgetting that down here I have heaps and heaps of used stuff. There's some minifigures, there's some parts of different colors. Um, these are the minifigures that need parts ordered from Bricklink. Uh, we've got our encyclopedias. Slave one that I still need to build. I've got so much to build for my own collection, but that'll get done soon. And then, but this is what we are going to jump into. You got a sneak peek in the video that's going up just now. So let's get cracking into that. So obviously, we have. That's it. We have how many? We got four, six, seven series 21 minifigures and honestly i only got seven because they were five dollars each which is not a great price to buy them at but i wanted to see how they go see how they part out bit of a test run um for the parts and the minifigures if i sell them together sell them separately so we're gonna open up those today and see what we got and then we'll part them out um but also we got this on last week tuesday i believe and then that's pretty much like when they first started coming out in like Kmart and Targets and stuff like that. But while we were there, they also restocked heaps of the Series 2 Harry Potter minifigures. So, and they were $4 each. So I picked up a few just to see if I could part them out well. And that's honestly the cheapest I was going to get them in bulk. Um, and so, yeah. So we have a whole bunch of those and we're going to open them up and pretty much I'm going to part them all out. I really wanted to start parting out minifigures because these Series 2 minifigures, they can either sell really well if someone needs it or they don't sell at all. But I wanted to get more parts into the store. So going to see what we get and uh, yeah, see how much we get to part out for. So <laughs> I've just pre-cut all these so that I can record and see what we got. Um, and something that I just kind of wanted to do this for as well was to learn about what the minifigures actually are. Especially the series minifigures. I've never, <clears throat> excuse me, ever gotten into them. So I don't know what their names are. I just kind of call them what they look like. Um, especially with the Harry Potter ones. I know some of them. I don't know all of the names. And just for the future, so I get to learn if I see a minifigure in a lot that I, I may think is a decent part of value or decent um, to get. I know what it is. So let's start with this series minifigures and see what we get. Oh, that's a lot of parts. What is that? Is that a policeman? I think that's a policeman because of the uh, star on the hat. Policeman with his riot shield. Yep. Policeman, which is cool. So I don't even know if that's good or not. So I'm just going by what looks cool and what's not. Ooh. Ah, uh, yes. I've seen this one. I was actually counting on getting a few of these, so I like this part. It is the centaur. The centaur. Because look at that piece. That piece is the one that I like to see. It just is really cool, and you can kind of add any minifigure to the top. And then you've got the, uh, the body and the hair. And the hair is really cool. And uh, there's arm printing as well on the centaur, which is cool. All right, it's bag number two. Let's get bag number three. Oh, an aeroplane. All right, it must be a pilot or a yeah, it's a an adventurer. It's a cool little plane. Ah, oh, so the legs go through there, and you put the legs on like a like a costume, like one of those Halloween um, costumes you have. All right, next up, surfer dude by the looks of thing, paddleboarder. Oh, the dolphin. That's sick. That is cool. That is definitely a great one that I will hopefully get more of. Oh, there's a head. I wonder where the head goes. Ah, that'll go in that one. In that Harry Potter one. All right. There we go, another centaur. I tried to get the bigger ones and you can tell that they're centaurs. So, had a few of those pieces to fight out. And another centaur again. Get those out. Amazing. So three centaurs. And let's see what this one is. 
Ah, oh, yeah. Another paddle border. And that's all of our series minifigures. We're going to open up the Harry Potter ones. So, wrapping up for the night, we've got a whole bunch of the minifigure parts in there. Oops. Uh, we still have the series minifigures to input. Um, and the rubbish, but it's getting late and I have work at 6am, so need to get to bed, but gonna input those tomorrow, and the reason I'm finishing so early is because we just got a, a $25 order in, and so we're gonna go pack that, and then we're gonna head off um, to, to bed, and then tomorrow we will crack on with uh, finishing out these, and hopefully sorting through uh, some of that used stuff or doing, actually what we need to finish off is that Ninjago minifigures, uploading those to, to eBay. So, ran out the night, and I'll see you tomorrow. So, past couple of days, we've been back under lockdown here in Victoria, Melbourne. So, I have been sorting through that used lot that is sitting in the cupboard there. Um, and a whole bunch of minifigure parts, bikes, Chima figures. Trying to see if I can make some figures, but also just honestly parting them out. I've got Lizard Guy. Going to see if I can get his um, legs and tail back. Because he's worth a bit of money, and his parts shouldn't cost that much. And then, I think it's, I honestly don't know who this is, Elastigirl. Something along those lines. Um, and, or is it Supergirl? Maybe. And so we're parting out a whole bunch of... Minifigure parts, heads, accessories, a few spare parts as well. And uh, But what we're going to do is we're going to leave this for now because some of the stuff, I don't know what it is, and it, it's taken me forever to go through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of this used lot stuff. And because of drawer space, we're going to put it all into some bigger drawers that we're getting. So we're going to get some bigger drawers. They're going to be like maybe two and a half wide. Um, and then put all used, like, 2 by 4 plates, for example, into there. So, because I only have maybe two of each colour, one of each colour, and taking up one whole drawer for, you know, not, not amount of pieces, like, I've got plenty of space in there for used parts, because they're 100% used. Um, that's the bionicle parts I did a while ago. So, stuff like that, making use of drawer space until, um... Honestly, just making use of draw space. So if we have a, a brand new set that comes in, we can just chuck it all in a nice draw. Like all that there. That's so much draw space. It's just empty. Like that's fine. Um, but there's so much draw space. So collective bricks that we just aren't utilizing, especially in the used department. So we're going to sort through all that and see how we go. So this is the aftermath of the sorting. Oh, gosh. It took me about an hour and a half, maybe two. But it's all sorted. One by so plates, tiles, rods, bricks, modified one by twos, wedges, plates, etc., 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 slopes, inverted slopes, ridges, arches, modified two by two bricks, curved, miscellaneous big items, plates, little rotators there. So. We are going to get started on putting this into, hopefully, I'm going to try the brick stock file. So, seen it be used before, um, and we're going to see how that goes to make it a lot easier than individually uploading every single part. But, we're going to see how that goes, and we'll check in near the end. So, the table is a bit of a mess, um, but what we have, Polybag. This is up at the Lego store. Um... Got, I think, seven of them. And they're part out for uh, about 3.2 times their part out value for good parts. But at the moment, I'm not going to part them out. I think I'll keep them, because they're brand new, I'll keep them. And often they sell really quickly just by themselves, or they get sold out really quickly. So I'm going to hold on to them just for now. But as you can see, a whole bunch of white pieces, got wedges, um, and stuff like that. But we have an order for Gus, uh, which is going to go out tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, just solid order, $20 worth. 
Um, but we are still doing all this used lot. And uh, this is all the stuff that's catalogued into the brick store file. Um, and so we have to catalog all this already. And at the moment, we're looking at nearly 900 parts in just all of this. So I can only imagine how many parts um, and nearly 200 lots as well. So that'll push us over to 4,000 lots, which is great. And I know some of these pieces won't have high quantities, but at least we can lock count up. And as soon as we get more used parts in the store is the better. So we're going to crack on tonight. It's uh, about 8.30, 9 o'clock. And then we're going to hopefully get as much as we can done tonight. So new order just came in. Uh, again, black, dark bluish gray, light bluish gray pieces are the favorite. And um, yeah, some minifigure accessories, all kinds of parts in here, totaling literally exactly $20. Uh, it's pretty hard to do, especially with, you know, you got 75 cents, 81 cents, or 8 cents, 9 cents. There's a lot of uh, not round numbers, but we're going to pack this order up. And uh, we also have the other order from. I think it was Ryan, Gus, Gus, and we're going to hopefully ship these out today as well as a eBay order. I'll show you in a second. So shipping out the orders today, two Bricklink orders, one eBay, Vania, minifigure from the 7122 uh, part out we did, uh, sold for 1850, which is great sale. Uh, I usually put them uh, at the lowest price on eBay. Because that means people are going to look for the lowest price anyway. And if mine's there and it's higher than a Bricklink price, then I do just want to sell it. Um, so we're going to pack that up. Smaller pile of uh, parts from the used lot. And uh, trying to put all those away and get them onto the brick stock file. We currently have 535 lots and 1485 items, which is crazy. And we're not even done yet. So we can keep going with that later on today. But we're going to get those uh, minifigures and those Brickling orders shipped out. So we have finished all the parts. Gone. All lined up. Up there. Some are in drawers when I freed up some space with them orders. Uh, some are in... A lot, most of them are in uh, Ziploc bags for the moment. All sorted into different uh, part types. So I kind of know what's in each... Uh, Ziploc bag and drawer um, But Let's see the total We've got heaps of parts All used But Total lot 703 And items at 1962 Which is crazy We've still got to put the prices uh, So let's do that So we're going to set the prices of All these parts And um, I'm going to put the current inventory's average um, Price guide Usually you put it as a six month sales average as there's the option there. Um, but I always put my parts 10% off anyway. And there's a lot of lots. As we saw, we have 703 lots. Um, and our store already has a lot of lots for the amount of pieces that we have, which is a big drawing point for buyers. And so we're going to go ahead and price up all this and see what we come to. Did that work? I think that worked. All updated. Let's just save this file. It's unselect all. I don't know if we can unselect that. Just push escape. All right, let's just save that file quickly. All right. So what we have is the value at 297 and 3 cents, which is not bad. We are also just going to put away these right now. Just some consolidated lots, a few new parts. Um, but a whole bunch of minifigure parts, accessories, helmets, there's some Star Wars in there. Um, just some random bits and bobs that came through uh, in another little used lot. So I'm going to chuck these away and then we're going to get into finding some drawers for uh, these babies. And hopefully we should have some drawers coming soon. Uh, but we're going to see what's in the wall that can be used to consolidate some of this stuff and make some space because if i go into a random drawer i can guarantee you there is definitely space in drawers as you can see there's like three or four parts and two drawers sections so definitely parts we can put in oh also we could uh let's show you this again all the simpsons minifigures we could part out those or we could put them up to ebay 
I still got to slow it, but we've got that to do as well. But had a bit of a clean up, cleaned up the area and uh, a few things in there they clean as well. So going to crack on with those in the morning. It is 1am and I need to go to bed. So we'll be up tomorrow again, back with this stuff, but stay tuned. We'll see you tomorrow. So two orders going out today, one eBay, first Wonder Woman minifigure sold. Great minifigure comes in the sets that we parted out, the Wonder Woman sets. Um, and now the movie's out, the set's nearly retired, I think. A lot of stores are selling them on clearance, so that's going out. 1850, 1950? 1950, which is a great price to sell it at. And just a four dollar, small four dollar order with some black pieces and some uh, dark bluish grey tiles. So, gonna ship those out today, and uh, we're actually picking up a used set later on today as well. What we also did today is we picked up a display book. Now, I couldn't find the one I wanted, but I think this will do okay for now until I can find the one I wanted. So, it's just a regular A4 display sheet, but what we're gonna do is gonna come over here at the moment we keep all of our stickers in uh, a drawer and the larger ones just over here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring these over here to clear up drawer space because the moment drawer space is something that's killing us here at Galactic Brits is we've got too many parts and too many drawers that are being used and I need more and more drawers which is okay because we have some coming uh, but until they arrive we need as many drawers as we can especially these bigger ones and I've ordered a uh, uh, orange unit with uh, about 30 what's that five rows so about 30 of those and then there's three nine bigger drawers so we can put more parts in so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all these um stick sheets into the a4 slots and i might put two or three or four in each slot and this will just keep them flat it'll keep them straight and also keep them protected but also the drawer space in here isn't great and ideal for different shaped uh stickers so we're going to do that get these orders ready and then we're going to continue with the used lot but i'm going to show you what else is uh been going on here this week at galactic bricks so today uh while we were sorting out this used lots We've uh, consolidated a whole bunch and all the stuff that's sitting right here is to go into new drawers, which we're going to get cracking on soon, but go ship out two orders, two eBay orders, and uh, one was the, I think it's from, oh, I forgot her name, I forgot, Scarlet, Scarlet something, Scarlet Vision, Adam, I, don't know. I think it's from, she's from the WandaVision movie, so that may be why she got sold, because of the movie, but sold one of these today um under what do you call it under office so something that's been really important for me is to allow my auctions to have um offers on them and that's something that for me is quite important because that means they sell people are going to put in bids and some i may decline if they're going to be ridiculously low but so for instance i put this on 27 or 26 dollars on ebay um including shipping so 24 i get, roughly get this person offered 18 and but the highest on bricklink that it goes to is like 16 dollars. so these sales for, this doesn't sell on bricklink for 16 dollars, but it will sell here on ebay for 18 plus two dollars minus two dollars shipping which is fine but it just gets sold and uh i think that's the key thing is to sell things quick and i definitely got a good price for it instead of selling on Bricklink. So, gonna ship this out, gonna ship the Scarlet um, Lady out, and yeah, two orders, easy done, we'll pack them up and ship them. So, the uh, bulk lot, all consolidated into the drawers, um, all the parts that we already have in our store, but we still have a lot of new lots in our store, a few in drawers, because of the spare drawers that I had, but, we have this big package that you may have seen, and we're gonna crack this baby open and see what we've got. And you may already, already be able to tell, but it is our new drawers. So we picked up a few of these. Um, hang on, it's just one of the 60 drawer shelves. And then what we got was the uh, 30 drawer, I believe it is. 39 drawer shelf 
um, 30 small drawers, 9 large drawers, which is going to help tremendously with um, bigger lots, bigger, bigger quantities of parts. So instead of having to put them in two different drawers or stuff like that, or drawers that won't fit, we can fit them in those big ones. And I think we got, how does it get? That's one, two, three. We've got three of them. So we're going to pull them out. We've got to start labeling because we need them right now for all these new lots, plus some new sets that are coming in. So draw number one, all done. 1784, draw number 1784, we're up to. It has grown drastically over the past six months. Now we're gonna crack into these ones. But again, what's cool about this drawer is, it has a divider, so I don't have to have just one lot of big parts. If I have two bigger size lots, can chuck them in as well, and or we can take out the divider just using one drawer. So technically we've got 18 bigger drawers, and then our standard drawer there. So, gonna finish off uh, labeling them up, and uh, then we'll add those parts. So we have finished up with all the drawers all labeled, and I think we finished on 901, 1901. Uh, so 1901 drawers total here at Galactic Bricks, which is pretty much 3802, because each of them have two, um, even the big ones have two drawers. So technically, uh, our full capacity would be 1308 drawers, um, including dividers, but it's looking good. These are gonna probably uh, get added to this wall um, and we'll probably put them up soon so they all order up in numbers. But for now, they'll sit here. But finished parting out, or not parting out, well, sorting and uploading this mass inventory uh, brick store file. So we've all consolidated everything into the main wall. And these are all in their drawers, numbered, and everything. So it took me a long time to go through all these. Not a long time, but maybe a couple of hours um, to sort them all through. There's different parts and different drawers, but they're kind of the same types. There's flames, there's slopes, long bricks, long plates, etc. Um, but that's all uploaded. Total of $300 and a lot of new lots. I have to check the lots um, that are up in the store. Um, but yeah, all done and dusted. And we are hopefully going to put these into the back into their drawers uh, and put our first big drawers. And these have been great because what we've been using is just a, a cardboard box to hold a bunch of our big parts. So this will now allow us to put all our new parts that are coming to the store um, into those bigger drawers. And look, even if they have dividers, just allow the extra space and um, different lots to fit in the same drawer. So all exciting, big project, but it was definitely worth it considering got all of it for free from a friend. And so $300 up, a lot of lots, a lot of used lots, and a lot of random different parts that we don't have in our store. So check out the store if you want to buy any of these parts. And uh, hopefully what we're going to do next is going to part out a new set. I'll show you. So these are the new sets we picked up. Similar to the last ones we just parted out was the Skull Sorcerer's Lair, Palace, Castle, something along those lines. But again, on, on clearance at Kmart, about $69, which parts out at a 4.1, which is great times part out value. Again, all those kind of parts, those <clears throat> tiles, plates, slopes, and then on the dragon, you've got Technic bits, you've got plates again, curved plates. You've got those wings, which are really cool. Um, also got the uh, Skull Sorcerer, and uh, we just sold one of him today. The uh, customer came and picked it up. But I'm going to part out these two and, uh, yeah, put some more lots in drawers, parts in the store. And uh, we're going to do a quick part check before we round out this video. So we are going to check out the lots for the store. Visit Galactic Bricks. Whew! 400, 4,000, sorry, 482 lots. And... 27,509 items, which is a great, great number to hit, 27,000. And honestly, the lot count is what um, is awesome. Uh, adding heaps of unique lots and different parts, which is gonna rise our sales, hopefully. And that's what I wanna keep high, but at the same time, I'm gonna try get the amount of uh, items up. So I think these add 
good amount of pieces and parts. So hopefully add maybe 2,000 parts. We're hoping, I don't know what the actual um, numbers are, but 27,509 and 4,482 is a great lock count. So we are out of the video. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time here at Galactic Bricks and we'll be doing part outs, we'll be doing um, all kinds of stuff in the next